So have you ever had the experience of quickly saying yes to helping somebody? Because that's your natural instinct probably is to care for the person who is reaching out. And then afterwards, <laughs> after you've already said yes, you may realize, oh, it's um, more than I can take on in a healthy way. Maybe it makes me having to work longer hours uh, or, you know, eat into some other activity I was wanting to do, I had planned to do. And so you may end up feeling some resentment towards uh, that yes that you made or even that person. Um, so I just want to say, uh, can anyone relate to that? Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm raising my hand as well, too. So it's such, yes. Uh, yeah, it's something that I, I've also myself had to learn over many years. And please feel free to chat below if you um, have come up with any helpful strategies for yourself, uh, any mindset shifts for yourself. Uh, including the person asking the question, I'm sure, you know, you, you're asking a very good question that I'm sure you already have thought of and had some ideas too. So, okay, here's what I, here's what I um, do. Two things. One is I, you know, am aware of the roles that I have with different people in my life. I think roles is, is an important so there's roles, and then there is um, sort of channels of support, like roles and channels of support that let's talk about that briefly first. So for example, there's a difference between uh, a VIP client, if there's such a thing, you know, maybe you may have, for some of us, we have like different tiers of clientele or something like that. And a VIP client might be someone who has, you know, paid you the most and they're uh, expecting more from you versus, okay, if I could do two extremes, a VIP client on one hand, and someone who has simply read your posts on Instagram <laughs> and then is like direct messaging you saying, can you please explain that further? Or I have a particular situation <laughs> that I want your opinion on. All right, now these are ex extremes. But then as you could see, we start to apply this principle to all the nuances in between. But the VIP client, the role with them, the expectation on both sides, what is what feels right is, yeah, I am more likely to take a text message from a VIP client and respond as soon as I can. On the other hand, the person who is just messaging me from social media, that the role is they, if they expect that I would respond to them, uh, that's their expectation. And I need to train my audience so that they don't expect that. And you can't, I mean, what, what are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to make a, an Instagram post every week saying, don't direct message me. <laughs> We're not going to do that. But the way we train our audience is to simply for each person who goes out of bounds, we um, keep the bounds. And so oftentimes, for example, if someone direct messages me on Instagram and goes into the story or like wants me to respond in a way that I know it's gonna take me like 10 minutes or more to respond. If it's like gonna take me 30 seconds, I'll probably do it. And 30 seconds might turn into two minutes or something like that. If, it, if, it, if I look at him like, yeah, that's a 10 minute response. It's probably gonna be longer than 10 minutes. And so what I do is I go, what is the channel of support I can offer this person? So that's the question for you, right? And I invite you to become aware the next time you get the request. And okay, so let's talk about this. There's, there's roles, there's channel support, and we'll, we'll come back to that. And three is the default response. So is your default, well, at this point, your default response is probably yes, I'll help. And by the way, I want to just, first of all, applaud you for being so loving. And I also, I, I, I believe that, and this is a weird belief I have, but maybe play with me here. I believe that um, our souls live on to eternity and that a part of our soul is actually in eternity right now. And that's our ultimate eternal home. And there we have unlimited time 
and energy and, and resources. And so we have this intuition from the eternity that, that we're bringing into this limited third dimensional life. And, and sometimes we misapply what is true over there or over there or in here with this moment. And so in eternity, I will help everybody who asks, of course, with as much vigor and passion as I can, because I have all the time in the world. Here, I can't. And so I have to remember, wait, okay. Um, <laughs> and I could even, my soul could even say to their soul, I'm sorry, I cannot help you in this lifetime, but I will help you as much as, you, <laughs> as I can in eternity. You know, again, it's a weird belief that I have. A few of you might share that belief, but it, just play with me, play with that fantasy of an idea, which may or may not be true. So um, the default response, I invite you to practice. And I invite you to chat below what might be a healthier default response from your, from your style? Each of us will have a different way of saying it. What's your healthier default response? So I'm gonna leave it at that because I, I, I believe, I know, I believe that you're able to come up with one that uh, feels better for you. But uh, suffice it to say that the default response is probably not yes right away <laughs> you know unless like i said you know you are working in an organization and your ceo comes to you with the most important project in the company and you're working on something that's like not that important then yes right away is probably a good default risk. but that's not the, that's not true for most requests that we get right we are being tested by the universe to know how to channel our limited resources in a very focused way in this life, which includes setting aside or placing in the right context our loving eternal soul who wants to say yes to everything and everybody. <laughs> and to say, yes, in eternity, I will help you. In this life, I have a mission right now. I have a focus. And part of my mission is to have really good boundaries and be healthy. Uh, with how I spend my time so that I have an increasing abundance of resources to then serve everybody. So for example, right? I'm so grateful that I have thankfully become better and better at boundaries over the years, such that now I do have an abundance of resources in terms of if someone direct, so this, back to that example, if someone direct messages me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, or tweets me or whatever and says, hey, George, um, I would love to know your opinion on X, Y, Z instead of, so thankfully I've kept the boundaries so well that it's given me a lot of time over the years to create content, right? To write blog posts and to make videos. So now whenever someone messages me, I probably have a video already because I've made, get this, I've made a thousand videos that are available on YouTube. Isn't that amazing? I made a thousand videos, most of which is connected to a blog post either on my website or on medium.com. Um, anyway, so when someone direct messages me, I, I pretty much, I can quickly search. I can take the 30 seconds to search on my YouTube channel, find the right video and then send it to them. Say, no problem, here it is. So that's an example where my default response has been, I probably already wrote about that or, 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 or at, you know. And then finally, so uh, roles, channels of support, meaning, somebody who is not a VIP client gets my support through my free content. And that's what I'm going to send them. That's the channel. That's the appropriate channel of support. Another example is somebody in my group program, my, you know, um, you know, I'm speaking right now to all of you TLC members, the channel of support is not to come over to my house <laughs> and knock on the door and says, I have a question, George, right? That's not the channel of support. No, even good. And the channel of support also is not text me because I haven't given you any of you my phone number, right? So I'm very clear on the channel of support being come to a Q&A call or post in our Facebook group. Or if you don't use Facebook, we have a document where you can add your questions. So it's like I've gotten very clear about the channel of support, my role, my channel of support, and then my default response to each group, right? To the social media person, my default response is to first wait Okay, wait for maybe, I mean, if I'm just having fun and I know exactly the answer, I can answer in 20 seconds, great. Um, the default response 
so, okay, default response, I will all add to that, is it's okay to say, let me get back to you, or just not respond for a while. It's okay to respond to an email or a request unless it's from a VIP client or your boss, right? It's okay to wait 24 to 48 to 72 hours before you respond. And sometimes I get people replying to me and says, George, I just want to make sure you saw this. I don't care if they, if they, don't, if they don't like my 72 hour policy, I don't have a policy. And, and I know some of, some of you might, get a, might put an autoresponder out there saying, I only respond to email, I get that sometimes, whatever, I don't do that. I just, I just don't respond for 24 to 72 hours because a lot of times the person, sometimes the person emails me back, never mind, got the answer, right? And secondly, I will read the email. I usually read the, I, I will probably read your email within six to 12 hours. I usually do every email, but then giving myself 24 to 72 hours allows my subconscious, allows my creativity to kind of process that before I respond. And by the time I respond, it'll probably be a better answer and a more concise answer. Um, anyway, so I hope this is helpful. And I also look forward to seeing what you came up with below, uh, which I'm sure will help others who are watching this as well. I, I appreciate what one of you brought forward, um, which is that we often find it easier to help others than it is to do a project of our own, right? It's, it's more satisfying because there's somebody else whose reactions we see instantly that, oh, yay, you're helping me. Or, uh, and again, coming back to our natural soul um, intention is to love and serve everybody. And so we, we enjoy aligning with that intention yet again. And however, like I said, this life somehow is teaching us there's a deadline, which literally we, when we die, but there's a, we have to focus our empathy and compassion towards a very, very small segment um, of situations in this life. Anyway, but, um, but just one more thing on that, which is over the years, I have learned to um, value my own projects uh, above and beyond other people's projects and needs and wants. Even though it sounds selfish, the reason I do it because I have a vision for how these projects can help many more people. Just like I mentioned, I, I could help you right now if you just suddenly came to me and asked, or I could write my blog post. It feels selfish to me to say, no, I can't help you. I can't answer that question. I can't do that for you right now. I'm writing my blog post, but knowing that my blog post is gonna help a hundred people, minimum. Now, you might not have an audience right now, but your blog post eventually is going to help at least 10 people versus one person and probably eventually help 100 or 1,000 or more. So thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate that.